Good morning, Spirit Fam. It is Wednesday, August 11th, and I wanted to start off this morning by letting letting you guys know a little bit of what I've been up to um, the last few days. So, I have um, a good friend of mine that she is actually a psychic investigator. Um, she does a lot on TikTok. You might already um, be following her, Katie Mikey. We both actually activated each other's um, spiritual awakening to both really embrace and follow our spiritual paths. And um, for some crazy reason, over the Lionsgate portal the day after, or was it the day of? I'm not sure. I reached out to her and I was like, for some reason, Spirit is guiding me to watch a lot of psychic investigating stuff on YouTube. And I was just wondering if you could use any help with anything. And um, she she sure did. She mentioned this case to me about, um, you probably heard, Michael Joseph Vaughn. He is a five-year-old boy missing from Fruitland, Idaho, and it's just absolutely heartbreaking. I think he's been missing for about 10 days now. No, even longer than that. It's been a couple weeks, but I was telling you guys a couple weeks ago that I wanted to start doing true crime tarot readings. Well, this is something that is new for me. Um, I do, I am a medium. I do channel um, those who have passed, but um, I've never really attempted to do um, full-blown psychic investigating and um, so I did. I sat down and I really channeled Michael's energy and I got actually quite a bit of information more than I expected and a lot of it correlated with Katie's as well and we had some different stuff um, that we could piece together to kind of um, really figure this out and it's it's literally to the point where we are sending these anonymous tips in and um, I really hope that we can help find this little boy so please pray for you know we would love to to find him well but at this point I feel like it's more of a recovery effort so if anything we just need to bring this little boy home one way or another so um, the power of prayer is huge so I would love it if you all could just take a minute to pray for this little boy. All right, so I just wanted to tell you guys that a little bit. That's kind of where my mind's been the last couple of days, and this is something that the Lionsgate portal opened up for me that I didn't even know about, and um, it might be something that I collaborate with her on more often. I'm not sure yet. We will see how it goes, but um, all right, so let's jump into today's message. All right, so Monday we had the star. And then yesterday we had the scale and today we have the lantern. I think this is, it makes a lot of sense in, um, like, it's almost like telling a story to you guys, um, about yourselves every day. And I find a lot of pride and I feel honored for all of you listening to, um, to, to listen to me every day to help give you this spiritual guidance and advice that I am literally channeling from spirit and from the universe. So the key words are guidance, remembrance, divine light, transition, and internal spirit. The incantation is all the light I need is within me. And it correlates to the tarot card, the hermit. The history of the lantern. The lantern represents the light within, the spirit and the truth that guides our way. It is symbolic of transition, shifting energy from one state of consciousness to another. It symbolizes the presence of divinity, the guides and spirits that surround us. The candle within the lantern signifies our devotion to goddess, gods, loved ones who have passed, acknowledging their remembrance and immortality. And that is crazy because I made a post about loved ones who had passed last night, so... Wow, I, I have never even read this yet. I've never seen this card. This is just as new to me as it is to you. The lantern is a symbol of observation and new ideas coming into the light of our conscious awareness, guarded and protected. When oil is present in the lamp, it represents the ocean and the candle wick is the earth. The air that ignites the flame is the mind and the fire is associated with universal love that binds us all. That is very interesting to know. 
So the oracle message is, my inner luminance is an internal gift and I am being reminded that the spark of light that is within me is precious and deserves to radiate brightly. If I am feeling small or unsure at this time, I'm being encouraged to refocus inward to see what painful story or belief is casting a shadow over my inner light and safeguarding it. Something is being called to heal. As I remain open to my healing, I continue to shine outwardly. As I reconnect to my resilience and determination, I will feel the return of my radiance. This remembering will help illuminate my soul and a sense of lightness will lead my way. My internal wisdom has brought me this far and it will continue to brighten my path ahead. As I pay attention to the signs around me right now, I allow spirit to safely continue to guide my way and light my path ahead. I trust that if I feel afraid, I can always call upon a higher source of guidance that can lead me through the darkness and back to my truth. Any wounds I carry will reintegrate and I will continue to radiate further and stronger than I ever have before. I am meant to shine. My experiences help guide others along their path. I touch the lives of others in a way that no one can. My presence in light are a gift. It is time for me to get cozy and feel the warmth of who I am. And then we also have here, obstacles are detours in the right direction. And yesterday we talked about how many of you are being faced with making a choice. And even when you make that choice, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. Even if you plan out every step after you make that decision, there are still going to be obstacles and detours in your way sometimes. And it's hard to feel in those moments when we've, you know, we've planned everything out. We made this choice. It might've even been a difficult choice to make. And then the universe throws us curveballs. And sometimes it can feel like maybe we made the wrong choice. Maybe we're going in the wrong direction, but that's not the case. All this is saying is that maybe things need to be tweaked a little bit. And it's hard for us to see that in the moment because it's discouraging when we really, you know, intend for things to go a certain way and then they don't. And the universe really sometimes, whether it's an obstacle or it's not an obstacle, it's just something that didn't work out the way that we had planned. It doesn't feel like it, but it is still bringing us in the right direction, guys. So if you find yourself like I was last month where I had, you know, obstacles after obstacles, nothing was working out the way I planned and it just felt like chaos, like a mess. I couldn't make any sense of it. And, you know, just keep that inner light shining, follow that lantern and then realize and know in your heart that you are still going in the right direction, even when it doesn't feel like it. They are actually, these obstacles are actually detours that are bringing you in the right direction. And I'd like to follow that up with a poem. I want to share a poem with you that I wrote back in 2010 that directly goes with today's message. So the title of this poem is Slow Down. This morning, I was all driving in a hurry, trying just to make good time, getting slightly worried. I went a different route, hoping this would make it quicker. Then I saw the detour sign and yup, I had to sit there, cursing at the rain, smacking at the wheel, wondering how on earth this could possibly be real. I had no windshield wipers. It was near impossible to see. So coming to a stop, the road was blurred into the trees. Pulling off the shoulder, careful not to hit the ditch, it started pouring harder as I continued just a bitch. It happened as the rain paused, and I could feel it in my chest. Angels stopped me for a reason. I was about to catch my death. I was way more concerned with just getting there on time than I was with the fact that I held my life there on the line. Sometimes when you rush in life, he makes you take a second to forget the past and future and remain here in the present. This to me is a perfect example to express to you guys that when there are obstacles and there are detours and it does suck and you get yourself caught up in, you know, complaining, aggravating, being stressed out with the universe and just not understanding things, take that moment to be still, 
and realize that there is something bigger at play. There was a reason why you were given a detour and it's always for your best benefit. Okay. How everyone says children are adaptable. They adapt well, you know, like if they're going through changes or different situations that children are adaptable. Well, we can be adaptable like a child too. And sometimes we have to, because if we fight the flow, then it's really just going to cause us more distress and more pain. So we really have to learn how to go with the flow, to accept the detours, to keep our eyes on that lantern, on that light that is shining for us, even if we don't know where it's taking us. And just relinquish the need to control absolutely everything. Being in control of our lives makes us feel powerful, it makes us feel stable, and it makes us feel safe. When we're in control, we feel safe because we feel like we can control the outcome. And we do have free will, we do have a level of control, but at the end of the day, we do have to know that relinquishing some control, surrendering that to the universe, is really what's going to keep us stable and safe in the long run. So, all right, let's go into our angel message today and wrap things up blows my mind because not only are these two cards always in connection every day but then we also have the angel message that um, that's playing right into what is going on so the angel message is not all paths are ready-made as much as you wish it could be nicely paved and waiting for you to gently go down sometimes you have to create a path yourself this can mean overcoming obstacles that stand in your way Having the determination to clear through the challenges that stand in your way. Jumping over puddles that you might otherwise sink into. In many ways, this life is your greatest adventure. I ensure that you are always cared for and have what you need. It is up to you to have the assertion needed to do what is asked of you. Wow, guys, right? So... You guys are going to be having some detours today. I see for a lot of you, there is going to be some obstacles in your day today. And Spirit is letting you know that it is okay and you are still being guided by this lantern, by Spirit, in the right direction. Now, action steps for you today. Move your bodies in different ways. Leap, jump, crawl, kick. As you do this, remember you can take these actions in life when challenges come your way. Does this problem need to be crawled through or leaped over or leapt over? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and I'm a writer. Thinking in this way will give you new insight on how to handle situations. Find a new perspective. Find a new way to overcome this obstacle. Don't go up and over and down through the mountain. Find a way to go around the mountain, right? So the angel number for today is number five. And this encourages dancing with the unknown. Things are changing all the time and you have to remain focused in the present moment to stay on your feet. If you feel like you're being met with disruption today, embrace the challenges and become more flexible. Find your own rhythm in the flow of life and move with it. You are graceful, resilient, and able to maneuver with the bumps in the road. Guys, be flexible and adaptable today. Affirmation of the day, I create my own path and this is my great adventure. My guardian angel ensures that I am protected and can always feel confident and sure. Wow, guys. All right, so you find yourself lost today. You find the world throwing you curveballs. Roll with it, baby. You can, you can, you know jump and catch that curveball it's definitely possible and if you miss the ball it's all right there's another one coming i hope you all have a super awesome wednesday love light and blessings and i'll be back tomorrow bye